All right, so today we're going to talk about the brake adjuster on the ferrets. All right, so a couple things first off. Uh, you may want to talk to Skip over here at Remy Depot about buying one of these little things that fits inside your baseball cap because when you're underneath this uh, wheel well and you smash your head a couple times, uh, it comes in quite heavy. Okay, a couple things you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need a little tool. looks like this one here. Uh, or you can use a three-quarter inch wrench. I decided to make one to fits over here so that you can easily get to this piece without having to try to fight with that and another wrench. Um, a three-quarter inch wrench. And that's really what we're going to talk about today. So, first off, these little sprockets. When you would go to adjust your brakes, if you have to do any brake adjustments, take the whole drum off, take the shoes off so you can see it and everything. I've done this for clarity so you can see everything that's here. You notice there are two sprockets here and two sprockets on this. There's a piece that's threaded in here and a piece in the bottom is threaded in the same way. And then there are two springs here that hold these individual sprockets in place so they don't loosen up over time. The backs of these sprockets, just to give you an idea what they look like, as you can see, the sprocket itself is slightly flattened on the two sides that corresponds to the shape of the uh, components on the inside. If you start messing with these things, and you've got too much grease on here, or the grease is sold, it's kind of caked up, and now it's acting like glue. Or if you get all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top of your adjustments, you will continue turning on this. You will round this piece out. When you round it out, then this piece just spins. You no longer make adjustments on your, on your brakes, and you've pretty much ruined all of it, and you need to take the whole thing apart. And it's impossible to get these parts. So <clears throat> to start off with, when you first take this apart, you need to take some brake cleaner, um, clean off everything else, and then take some uh, carbon choke cleaner and soak this thing. And when you get done soaking it, what you want to do is start off with your wrench on the piece over here and wrench in here, and you'll notice I'm turning just the inside sprocket that is the outside uh, nut on here, turns the inside sprocket. If you go lefty loosey, righty teddy, lefty loosey is actually drawing these pieces closer together, which is making the brake shoes come in so you can easily take off the, the brake uh, drum. Uh, if you go right, then you raise it and then it's tightening it. But you notice I can serve one and then I can turn the other. Okay. Now, like I said, if you first start with these things, if you haven't cleaned all these components before you start, these things will be so caked up with grease that they will not turn. And then once again, you'll press too hard. It doesn't take much. And then the next thing you know, you've rounded out that piece and you've ruined the whole thing. So please spray this thing down with carbon choke cleaner, clean it all out, then spray CLP or some other type of uh, uh, lubricant on there so that it stays uh, lubricated. Okay, so past that point, once that's done, this is how you adjust them. So if right now I have them all the way in, so I've gone left on this, on both this bolt and this bolt. The inner bolt here that you can turn that spins the, oh, sorry, that turns the larger of the two sprockets adjusts this piece down here. Okay, so if you look at this down here with the camera, you'll notice as I turn this, as I go tightening it, it looks like it's starting to go down. It takes a lot of turns to get it to go. But basically what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the bottom brake shoe now. And then the same kind of thing happens when you're up on this one. If I'm adjusting the outside nut, as you can see, the top piece there is beginning to go up as you adjust this. Remember, right tighten is actually tightening the brake shoes against the brake drum. Left loosen is loosening the brake shoes. Very important to remember. So, basic idea how these things work. Once again, make sure you clean these before you try to adjust them. Otherwise, you will break the parts. Once you have these adjusted and you're smoothly using them, take them all the way down, turning left on both, until they're basically bottomed out. Put your shoes back in, put your drum on, and then begin to turn, starting with the bottom first. Turn your wheel until you receive pressure on it. Once you've got pressure on it and you can't turn it anymore, back it off one full turn, and then adjust the top one the same way. You turn it right, tighten it, shoe comes up. And you turn the wheel again until you can't move it and then back it off one full turn. And that's how you adjust these. 